Now I want to talk about key focus. Windows and regions must be selected in order to function as you tell them to. So you can see two different audio regions here. The one on the left is currently not highlighted, which means it's not in key focus. How can you tell? Well, if you look at the region to the right, it has a brighter hue. It looks like it's actually highlighted. So this is the indicator that it's selected. In other words, when something is highlighted by either a blue frame, a white frame, or a colored button, you know that it's in key focus. Let me explain further. At the moment, if you look all along the top of the tracks area, right below the toolbar, you'll see a blue rim that's highlighting the tracks area. If I open up the mixer, key command X, you can now see that same blue frame is around the mixer. Let me open up the loop browser, same behavior. Every time I hit tab, you can see that the key focus goes from the mixer to the tracks area to the loop browser on and on and on. Why is this important? Well, let's say I want to make a selection. Right now, key focus is currently on the mixer. And normally, if key focus was on the tracks area and I used my arrow keys, I can go up and down. Now, if I mistakenly hit left and right, nothing is going to happen because key focus is around the tracks area. So if I hit tab and then go to the mixer, now if I hit the left and the right arrows, I get the expected behavior. Now what if I wanted to select a different loop? Again, move the key focused over to the loop and then use your up and down arrow menu to preview whichever loop you want to preview.